Hi everyone, this is Dima, your English tutor, in this practice lesson. Let's do a couple of exercises from the section Duolingo vocabulary, namely Duolingo, let's call it read and select. I think most of you know what this is, yeah, but in case you're new to Duolingo, let me please say a couple of words about this exercise. So, what you see now is just the uh, almost the exact like replica of what you will see as the real test. So, you see about 18 words, about sometimes probably 17 or I don't know, 19, depending upon their length, yeah, but usually 18. Uh, and you have to select real existing English words. So, sounds pretty obvious, yes? For instance, I look here, I see bubble. If I think that it exists, bubble, okay, I click bubble, yeah? Then, the next one, for therater, no. I know that it doesn't exist, or I think so. I miss it, yeah? I skip it and proceed to the next one. Okay, so very simple, yes? Uh, you have one minute to do it. Usually it's more than enough. Don't hurry, please. Based upon the experience of my students, I see that a lot of them, they tend to hurry so much. Yes, they dash. Moreover, you know, they leap. Here, there, here, there, here, there. Like, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. In 10 seconds. And then they return, for example, here. And the stare for a long time at this way. Then they, I don't know why stare, not at this one, yeah? But at this one. And so on. And so this haphazard manner usually leads to let's say fiasco because you will surely skip no no the oversee one or two words i know it because it has been hundreds of times so please listen to this like advice of a tutor please follow uh let's say let's take uh, the upper left corner here yeah you start here you proceed to the right to the right to the right. here you change the line you return here to the left you see very pedantically let's say and you proceed here to the right yes in this way and don't hurry try to reserve yourself a bit try to be considerate and reserved don't leap because um, you will ruin your answer um, probably when the words are of easy level uh, then okay you can do it very fast even there guys skip some words but if you have already something like hard level of course, you know, you need to look attentively at every word because the spelling may be a bit thwarted in order to mislead you, you see. For instance, I don't know, in this bubble, they can uh, omit purposefully one B. And so you hear in bubble, uh -huh, and you click it, but... So this is a normal bubble. Yes, but... Something. Okay. So this is was this was such a, a small preface. Now, let's do it together. Uh, these exercises, they were borrowed, let's say, from real Duolingo, so I think they, you know, they present some value to you, even if um, you will not find many new words here. But I tell you, we will do now four or five of such exercises, and you will have a clear picture of your level, of the level of your readiness, and uh, you will be able to make a prediction of your score at the subscore <laughs> this tautology is a subscore for comprehension and literacy because if you do it easily it's a good sign it means that you can uh, think about 120 and more for your comprehension and literacy if it's extremely arduous for you here so it's a sign that you're not yet ready to get 120 or something. Most probably it shows that you are likely to get 90 or I, I cannot say exactly, but you say something like that. So it's very precious, by the way. Uh, it's like a um, practice test, like during Duolingo practice test at the official website. But they are mostly, if you have noticed, the words are the same, yeah? But here I will show you real words and uh, they are really different. Okay, so let's start. I follow from left to right, as I have told you, and you try please to determine whether it exists or not before my decision. Yeah, it's very, very interesting and probably challenging to some of you. Okay, let's get started. Bubble, yes. Fourth literature. <laughs> yeah, I will try to sound even uh, those non-existent words because how can we otherwise? Yes, it doesn't exist. Consider it, yeah. Adjective, this exists. Considerate, you know, my Latin manner. I always use it to spell it correctly. Informative, yes. Info informative. Monderende, no. Influently, no. They have been trying to catch us on influence, uh, yeah, influential, but influently, I don't think so. 
formally, yeah, an adverb based on formal. She for no. Recost, I think no. Though sounds very appetizing, yeah, but uh, cost, recost, no, there is no such way. Dog all, no, no way. Harassment, yeah. This is such a noun from uh, a verb uh, harass, from the verb, I think. Harass, yes, harassment. Porary, no. Willing, no. Fetiful, no. Heroti, no. Summit, like a pinnacle, or apex, yes. Uh, double M. Thrill, to excite someone, yeah, thrill. Purity, the state or condition of being clean and pristine, yeah, purity. So, this is my choice. You see, in this case, we have an um, average, not an average, but I mean, the, uh, let's say, medium number of uh, correct words. Never try to feel, I mean, that some guys, they can uh, say that uh, there should be no less than, let's say, three correct words and no more than eight. It's gosh. You, know, it's, uh, you can have 16 correct words or you can have two correct words. I'm not sure about one. I have never heard of that, but I think that. In order to make you like not relax, they they can input one even. So never try to buy this picture to guess whether you're right or wrong. So this is a normal average picture. But so we will click submit now and we will see whether yeah I have determined everything correctly. You don't see here the whole line because I don't want to make uh, our screen very large because uh, then you will have very I mean very small font. So but everything is fine. I have guessed everything correctly. Okay. You can even now already have some supposition of your success at Duolingo. I mean, your level and your score, as I have told you. If you have done it faster than me, twice, yeah, and easily, then congratulations, you can sway it something like 130, uh, yeah, 20, 30, some, and more. Okay, let's go on, let's do a couple more. Again, hard level, as they say, let it be. In fact, to infect somebody, yeah. Uh, like to contaminate exhaustive you know honestly I made a mistake here when I was doing it uh, I don't remember when but for the first time I thought that exhaust yeah exhausted yeah exhausting yeah but exhaustive no but you know it exists so I will mark it it means here I think not exhaustive like very tiring but something like complete like exhaustive answer something like that you please check it out and uh, look it up at the dictionary in the dictionary because I don't know I have, uh, I forgot to make sure. Okay. No. Vitally. No. Outseering. No. Possess. No. Exceptionally. Yes. Good adverb. Am umbelond. Umbelond. No. Approval. Yeah. When people approve of something. Approval. Scredier. No. Sketch. Yes, like sketch, sketchbook, you know, preliminary picture or something. Yes, some outline. Uncomfortable. Yes, comfortable, uncomfortable. I hesitate, like not to be sure about something. Yeah, gambling. These games with cards and casinos. Yeah, gambling. Texture. Yes, texture. Texture. Such the surface of something. Yes. Sensical. No, conventional. Sensational. Yeah, either from the word sensation or from the word sense. It depends. Yes. Okay, let's click Submit. Very nice. We have guessed everything. Let's go on. I never prepare beforehand to these uh, exercises because it will be not interesting to us. Yeah, If I know everything, I'll just click like a row. But no, no, no. it's not. Uh, I can make a mistake. And I'm proud of that. It uh, proves that I'm human. So, okay. You see, mostly these uh, tasks today, uh, they are of a hard level. It means that if you feel comfortable with them, okay, it's... It's a very good sign. I think about your whole Duolingo, you see. Because uh, based upon my observations, if a student deals with these uh, vocabularies very, very brilliantly, most probably he or she will get like 120 and more. Because uh, your passive vocabulary is the basis of everything, you see. Everything. I understand that and uh, I admit that uh, speaking and writing, they require some special practice. But, you know, if you if your vocabulary is limited, no matter how you try to compensate it with some twisted phrases and everything, it does not allow you to get a high score. So you have to be abundant and rich in your vocabulary, both passive and active. And you understand that your active vocabulary is closely related to your passive vocabulary. So this connection, I don't know, it's impossible to separate them. And that's why, please, mind your uh, passive vocabulary. It's crucial. It's paramount for your success.
If you have enough time, like a couple of months, please do whatever you can do to enlarge your vocabulary. By the way, I invite you, if you need some assistance, go please to... There is a link below this video and also usually in the bottom of the screen I place my Viber and WhatsApp. You're welcome to my lessons. I'm a professional tutor, though I'm not a native speaker, but I tell you that you can read some testimonials of my students. I can be of more utility to you than some native speakers can. And so I cost some money, but I will help you to get a decent score. Okay, so let's go on. <clears throat> but remember, please, your vocabulary here is very, very important. It plays enormous role. Don't think, please, that you will, you can disregard it and guess something here, something there, or click everything, and you will get over 100. No, 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 you won't. I uh, have been tutoring people for over two years, I think now, to Duolingo, and I know what I'm saying. I have had a couple of hundreds of guys whom I have helped with this Duolingo, so I know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's go on. Swiftly, yeah, like fast, yeah. Pitalistic, no. Diagnosis, yeah. Your medical diagnosis, my new diagnosis, yeah. Antibiotic, yes. Antibiotic, yeah. Standis, no. Squeaky, yeah, such a squeaky mouse, from the verb to squeak. Uh, inductive, no. Esterner, no. Frintic, no. Wholeheartedly, yes. Such a good word means like from your heart, yes. So when you are sincere and kind, you do something wholeheartedly, uh, like with with all your heart. Yeah. Negligible, <coughs> yeah. It means usually some small uh, that we can neglect. Yeah. Ornament, yes. Some kind of a decoration. Ornament. By the way, this negligible, say negligible. I tell you, this Latin manner of spelling is very very useful. It allows you to memorize precisely each letter in this set. Negligible. Uh, dismay. Yeah. Dismau. <laughs> dismau. Uh, I come from Ukraine, so you know, I pr pronounce it in my manner. You please work out your own, your own most beneficial way. Yeah. How you pronounce them in a Latin manner. Probably you will pronounce it like U, U, E. It depends upon you. But if you pronounce it like E, then you have also this E. Yeah. And there may be a problem. So think about this. This may okay. It's um. This may means like a condition of your mind when you're not very happy. Intervene, yeah. To intrude, to intervene. Intervene, yeah. Coherent, yes. It means harmoniously, like the parts of a, of one whole. They are harmoniously flowing into one another. Such a beautiful word. I love it. Coherent. Enduredly, no. Disgustless, no. They have been trying to catch us on disgust, then disgusting and disgustless. But I think it doesn't exist. Troublesome? Yeah, causing some troubles, of course. By the way, about this disgust list, you see, uh, I always say this task in Duolingo is the one probably uh, which does not require of you any logic or intelligence. I mean, some guessing, some suppositions. No, no, no. You just know this word, disgust list, that it exists, or you know that it does, doesn't exist. It's based solely upon your experience from your passive, based upon your passive vocabulary. Uh, there is no way, I'm sure, if you don't agree, write please in the comments. I will be happy to hear another point of view. But I mean, uh, list, yeah, that you can say, okay, I know that list may be probably attached to the root or to the stem, <laughs> I mean, of this word, which ends with T. So, disgust list, or like, cannot be because list doesn't follow T. It's nonsense. List can be put in English almost anywhere you want. Even if there are some dependencies and, uh, you know, what can how can we say some probabilities, but they are so vague and there are so many exceptions that you will kill yourself trying to. That's why it's much easier to know just this ghastless. It exists, okay, very nice, or it doesn't exist, also very fine. You see, to do this, you have to enlarge your passive vocabulary to read books, of course. But if you have two weeks before the test, what will you read? New York Times. I don't know what to. You have to work with an experienced tutor according to some most like let's say proficient and uh, beneficial manner. And method, yeah, and pray a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. Uh, sometimes your faith uh, it helps you to get what you want. Not sometimes, always, but I mean, depending upon your religion and your. Okay, it's not the question for this video. Let's click submit. Yes, uh, very nice. And let's do one more probably, and then we'll finish. Medium. Okay, they said it's medium, the authors of this resource. But uh, you know, sometimes in this medium level, we uh, encounter some such pearls. Of linguistics that uh, so don't relax okay spinach 
Yeah, you know this type of salad, this uh, plant, spinach, uh, yeah, spinach. I would spell it to myself, spinach, spinach, spinach. And I remember forever how to spell it, and I will recognize it instantaneously. Bacalder, I don't know. Biography, yeah, biography. Recycled, yeah, like processed for the second time. I mean, reproduced, re clad Diving, yeah, dive, diving. Tell for, no. Previously, yeah, an adverb from previous, previous, see. Weak event, no. Strange, like odd, weird, of course, strange. Stebk, no. Sunshine, of course. Sun, the sun is shining, yes, this childish phrase used from school. I mean, you're used to it from your birth, maybe. Sunshine. Monon, no, no monon. Produce, yeah, to manufacture something. Produce. Moving, the ing form from move, yeah. Breathe, yes, and breathe breath uh, when you aspire, yeah, so breathe breath. Main, yeah, main, basic, yeah, main. Ages means uh, long periods of time, like centuries or something, yeah. And illness, uh, disease, yeah. So, yeah, really, you feel here, the words are mostly a little bit, a little bit like easier than, and, uh, apart from spinach, you know, if you don't know spinach, you will never guess, yeah, that this is such a herb. Or well, not a herb, I don't know, such a vegetable, I forgot how to classify it. So, if you know spinach, you're happy. If you don't know, you will not mark it, because you will think, what's a gosh, yes, spinach. Mm. Okay, let's click Submit. Yeah, very nice. We have coped. <laughs> okay, my friends, so I hope that you have now some picture of your level, which is very, very valuable, I tell you. Try to think, please. Uh, like, for example, let's imagine you have your test in three weeks. And what strategy you have to build and follow to get the maximum, yeah, out of your test. So I tell you, of course, that uh, it maybe sounds naive that uh, an experienced tutor is the best remedy for this because it, it's, uh, uh, when you're alone, you cannot. I mean, you can improve only by let's say five percent. Uh, your speaking and writing is the first because you need somebody to discuss, to assess, to recommend. Yes, uh, these vocabularies. You can uh, improve them only if you have a set, proper set of um, of hundreds of such words taken from real Duolingos. I have such sets. Not every mm, tutor has them. Yeah. What else? Readings and everything. Even readings where you have to fill in letters there. Yeah? You need to discuss it with someone. Those dependencies, correlations between uh, those linking phrases, transitions from some words like this, that, then, uh, and so on and so on. There are a lot of aspects there. So, if a lot hinges upon your test in your life, please don't be like uh, stingy for some couple of hundred of dollars. Better invite a normal tutor and you will be a winner, yeah? Most probably, of course, yes. Yeah, because I let me repeat myself to prepare by yourself to such difficult, difficult, probably for you it's not difficult, but for most guys it's a difficult test. It's not easy. It requires exceptional intellectual abilities and so. Okay, let me not bother you anymore. So, I love you and wish you success at Duolingo and see you in our next video.